Here we are again, Jessica Lasik's Facebook page. She's been calling out her loved ones to speak out against Jared. I don't know who Kristen is, but that might be one of her family members. She also made some pleas a few days ago to her parents to call out Jared's actions. We don't know exactly what those are, but she did make a very heartfelt so, um, video a few days ago. Um, I'm going keep to keep on annoying the people staying with me right scene, now. So, but I'm going to um, leave some of the parts um, where she talks about her background totally awesome. and her calls so, to her parents. Um, I have help and protection. I was now. able to get four hours of solid sleep. sleep last night. Um, but I also don't um, want to just keep singing and singing and doing my thing in my very small place. Um, so I figured I'd come in one of the rooms, shut the door, and uh, that way they hear it But from a distance. You know what I mean? Like, um, anyways, just trying to be respectful of the people helping me right now. And um, so, but when I came in here, um, of course, hanging by my bed, this beautiful thing right here. I hardly ever wear jewelry unless I'm out, like on stage and dressing and acting all weird and stuff. Um, but um, that's from my mom. My mom gave me that years ago. And um, so I put it on. And I would like to challenge my mom. Hey mom, this video is dedicated to you. Um, I know that somewhere in your heart that you, um, that you believe in the Lord. I, I know that you know what's right and wrong. I know that you know a lot of things and more things than I know about. And it would be awesome if you came forward and it would be awesome if you could talk some of the others and you know who I'm talking about into coming forward as well. Because right now there is a lot of support for the victims. There are a lot of people that are coming out saying that they are also afraid of Jared. Um, you are not alone. Um, it's time that he stops manipulating you. So it's, it's time that you stop living in fear of the wrath of Jared, like everyone else. And it's time that you become a voice so that maybe others can come forward and others can start the healing process. It is never too late ever to start to start the healing process um it, it needs to start it needs to start for a lot of people and you know who i'm talking about you're the only one that can back me on that story at least right now so i need your help let's do the right thing let's stop living in fear so that being said um i uh I'm doing my normal thing this morning, singing, trying to uh, get out the door. And um, instead of a bunch of metal songs, I only did a couple of those. And then I'm going to, I'm, well, I guess I shouldn't say I'm going to. I have been um, doing a lot of Christian songs. And um, I will continue to do that and leave with love in my heart today um, because it felt really good yesterday. Yesterday, I felt like I needed to leave in survival mode. And then I felt in my heart that um, I needed to leave. Um, feeling protected by the Lord, not just that I needed to pre protect myself. So, um, which I know all too well, and it's a horrible way to live, especially for three decades. So, um, anyways, like I said, got some sleep last night, prayed myself to sleep last night, prayed for a lot of people, including my brother. And, um, I am ready to get out the door to work soon. And, um, I'm going to do it with Jesus. So just saying, just saying. And I'll actually be seeing God soon. So. I'm prepared. I've been a good person. I knew that supporting the victims would put a bigger target on my back. Oh, damn. I didn't want to do all this. I was just trying to sing. Are you guys beginning to see what a monster he is? Mom, please come forward. Dad, please come forward. Please do the right thing. Please. Please. 
Please don't let him walk for this. Please. Please come forward with the other things. Please. Blood or not, we're all human. Chosen humanity. Okay. You guys have been protecting him for too long. I know a lot of it's fear. I know a lot of it's because you, you love him and you try to look past the bad things, but they haven't stopped. They've gotten worse. He's hurt more people in so many ways. So many ways. Better stop this right before it goes into a stupid commercial and it got a commercial in the background. Like, I. Anyways, um, sorry, everybody. Um, I didn't mean to get all stupid and emotional. I didn't realize that I was going to come out, but again, this is, this is me being real. So, um, I've been on a roller coaster ride from hell. For almost four decades. For over 30 decades, my roller coaster from hell got a little bit more harsh. <laughs> my friends call me the queen of comebacks. Because every time I start doing good, my family shows up and they tear me down as if I don't deserve it. When all I wanted was uh, to be a part of the family, I kept trying. <sighs> I'm a grown woman. My kids are raised now in the house. I'm a grandma now. Like, <sighs> I have my own family. I love them. <laughs> I would do almost almost anything for them but mom and dad i would not do what you're doing right now i would be opening up i would be telling the truth i would be making sure that others are protected um it's the right thing to do um i just don't know what else to say um <sighs> nice to not be crying again.